Right guys, so I'm not quite sure which way I've actually filmed this, but as things stand now, we are waiting for the ABS sensor to turn up from Renault for the near side rear. Um, I've had to order it from Renault because every other place where I try and order this ABS sensor, speed sensor, whatever you want to call it, it's either the part number's wrong or the connection looks wrong in the picture and it's just, like, it's just grief, it's just long. So I just thought, do you know what? Let's go talk to the people who actually made it. So I ordered it from Renault and it, none are in the country. We have to wait for one, we have to wait for one to come from France. So that's what we're doing right now. So it should be here by the end of this week. But in the meantime, so we're gonna tackle the wheel arch line on the driver's side. We're gonna try and get that fitted. I've bought that already. We're gonna try and put it on. It's a pattern part. So it might not fit exactly. We might have a lot of grief with it. Well, I, I can almost guarantee you we will because it's not original. But we will try our best to get that on there um, and see how we get on, basically, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get the car jacked up so we can get cracking. Let's go. Alright guys, so I've just quickly switched over to the GoPro so you guys can have a, a better look at what's going on. Uh, and a closer look, because if you can see here, you can only see half of a real arch because it's meant to come down here. It's meant to come all the way down here, but obviously there's half of it missing or I, I don't know what happened there, or it snapped off or what. But yeah, there's meant to be a little bit there. So, and there's the other half there. So, anyway, there's the box with the goodies in it. So we're just gonna have a little, I'm gonna pull it out and see if we can have a little test fit. Let's see if it actually fits. What a massive box for such a small item. But yeah. All right, let's have a look. Let's see, let's see what happens. All right, guys, so. I've just done a little loose fit just to see <laughs> just to see if it's the right part or you know if it will fit and how well it will fit and the answer is yeah it's the right one it can work is it an ideal fit well no because it's like it's not an original part it's an aftermarket part but does the holes line up perfectly not at all um, it's going to take a lot of playing around with. I mean, even like under here. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but it's, it's not spot on where all the holes are and everything. It's going to take a bit of playing around with, but it is the right part. It does fit and it does do a job. So in the future, whoever buys it, if they want perfection, then by all means, they can go to Renault and get the original one, can't they? But for now, it's going to do the job, it's going to help protect the car from you know, any more moisture getting to places where it doesn't need to be and yeah mate, that'll do. So what I'll do now is pull this one down, take it out of the way, get that out of the way for a minute, take the original one down the half what is there I'll take that one down and then uh, get fitted all right so wish me luck because I don't think it's going to be a walk through the park but yeah all right let's go
Right guys, so it isn't fully fitted, but I have put it in to the location where I want it to sit, sort of thing. So I had to make a bit of a decision and the decision was to cut it in half. And the reason behind that is because if you look at the old original part, which is this bit of the wheel arch here, um, wheel arch lining, the attachment's what holds it in. I don't know if you can see it, but all these bolts here, they just, yeah, I, f I, feel, I feel like if I try and take them off, they're just gonna round off and it's just gonna be carnage. So also as well, these, um, these attachments here as well. I tried to take one off and it was just, yeah, it was a dog fight. So I decided, do you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna leave the original one in because it's happy where it is and it's set in its ways. So let it stay. So what I decided to do, because I think that this comes in two hours anyway. I'm guessing that the original one comes in two halves anyway, I'm not sure. But anyway, either way, what I decided to do is take the new one, and what I did, I don't know if you guys can see because of the light, what I did, I cut it as neat as I could around here, and I cut round one of the top attachments, and what I'll do is I'll take this one and I'll slide it underneath the old one, and then one of those round rubber attachments, I'll just put it through the two of them and into the bodywork there, what you can see. And then I'll bring it over a bit and just line up, line up the rest of it all down the rest of the wheel arch here. And over here, I'll pop that up and just adjust it. You just need playing around with, but essentially guys, that's, that's what I'll do. Um, and then secure the underside of it to the to the front bumper and that should be it guys that should be the end of that put it this way if i was to actually keep the car myself i would just rip that out and just call it a day and just go go to Renault and get the original part but because of the things what i want to do before i sell it like take it on at least one track day what i will do is put it in there because something is better than nothing and i'll just let the new owner um aware that the, I found a solution to a problem. And basically, if he feels like he wants to change it, he can. If he wants to leave it as it is and he's happy with it as it is, then he can. So that's what I'm gonna do. And that's, that's, the, that's the game plan, guys. But something there is better than nothing at all. Like I've always wanted to um, put something there since I've had the car many years ago, but I haven't driven it for years either. So, um, so yeah. That's what's gonna happen. So let's finish it off, get it fitted, and be done with it. Right, let's go. Right, so the Clio is now happy because, as you can see with the wheel full lock, we have the wheel arch liner right there, fully fitted. If you remember before, guys, you could just see the floor through there. Um, so, you know, I know it's quite a bit of a shadow. You can't really see much, but believe me, there's something there now. And obviously, I'll put it on full lock. I've driven it backwards and forwards and it's not rubbing oil, anything like that. So happy days that's another task sorted out for the Clio um, and guys to be honest there's not a lot left to do before we actually take this thing on track because once we do actually take it out on track 
Then after that, it's just cosmetic stuff. It's gonna get professionally sorted out, which is, you know, all the little bits and pieces left are beyond my talents. So once uh, that is all done, once we're done with the track day, this car is gonna be made into a bit of a queen and I won't be driving it very much after that. So that's why we gotta have our fun now while the car is a bit more rough and ready. And after that, guys, it's just cosmetic stuff and it's, you know, just getting, getting prepared for sale, really, to be honest. Um, and then, yeah, sadly, we're going to have to part ways with it. And that'll be the Clio journey done. Um, so, yeah, happy days.